In today's video, I'll be reviewing the HP DeskJet Plus 4155 all-in-one printer. And in case you were wondering, the DeskJet Plus 4155 is pretty much identical to the DeskJet Plus 4152 and 4158. The only difference seems to be in where each of these printers is sold. Different model numbers seem to be used at different retailers or different regions of the world. But other than that, these printers are identical. And I'll leave links to all three below in case you're looking to buy one. At first glance, the HP DeskJet Plus 4155 looks like almost any entry-level inkjet printer from HP. HP seems to have designed a simple yet sleek, plain white plastic body for the printer. The white body seems to be a throwback to printers from the 90s. The 4155 is also pretty compact, measuring in at about 16 inches wide by 19 inches deep by about 10 inches tall, even with the paper input and output trays extended. The fit, finish and build quality are also fairly decent and there's nothing much to complain about. The setup process was also relatively painless and I have a separate video that walks you step by step through the entire process. Once set up, you'll notice that the 4155's main interface is this tiny LCD screen surrounded by a handful of buttons. This interface is both its most unique feature and probably something I'm very conflicted about. Unlike HP printers of the recent past, the buttons and screen on the front do not give you any access to the settings menus or options on the printer other than just being able to see ink levels and quickly making color or black and white copies. This minimalistic approach forces you to do all the setup through a computer or mobile device. And while this did work pretty seamlessly during setup, it relies on the fact that the printer's Wi-Fi signal is always detected by your computer and that the printer can always reliably connect to your home's Wi-Fi network. If, for some reason, there was an issue with your printer's Wi-Fi network being seen by your computer or an issue getting it to connect to your Wi-Fi network, you would have no option of doing a manual network configuration through the buttons on the front. So that does make me a bit nervous. The approach does work though. It's just a bit unique and not something I've ever seen in a printer. However, if you do choose to skip the wireless connection option entirely or can't connect to it wirelessly for some reason, there is a USB port on the back to connect it directly to a computer. On a more positive note though, the printer does have a 35 sheet automatic document feeder on top, which is extremely useful for scanning or copying multiple pages quickly. You can also scan and make copies using the scan bed beneath the automatic document feeder, which can scan items as large as eight and a half by 11 inches or A4 size. Most of the scanning and copying operations are handled through the HP Smart app, which is available for Windows PCs, Macs, and almost all mobile devices. The app also seems to work without any major issues or glitches and is very well implemented on all platforms. The DeskJet uses the 67 series ink cartridges, but you can also use the more economical 67 XL series cartridges to reduce your ink cost per page. These cartridges are located a bit awkwardly behind this access panel on the front, but are still relatively simple to change out. I'll leave links to both the 67 and 67 XL series cartridges below in case you're looking to buy some. The 4155 pulls paper from the 60 sheet input paper tray in the back. The print speed for both color and black and white pages is very similar to other entry level printers on the market. Not blazing fast and yet not painfully slow either. The print quality for black and white pages was decent. The text was as sharp as you can get from an entry level inkjet. Similarly, the color print quality was pretty decent too. The colors were accurately reproduced and everything was reasonably crisp as you can see here. For some reason, no matter how hard I tried, I was unable to get it to print borderless color prints. If you're able to get the 4155 to produce borderless prints, do let me know in the comments below. And while the printer doesn't have a traditional fax option, the HP Smart app does allow you to send mobile faxes or electronic faxes of documents scanned by the printer. A great idea for folks who don't have the need for a dedicated fax line. So should you buy the HP DeskJet Plus 4155, 4152, or 4158? And the answer generally is yes. 
If you're looking for an entry-level all-in-one inkjet printer for your home or home office, the 4100 series of printers are a decent choice. While its physical control interface is a bit unusual, the printer is well-built, was easy to set up, and produced pretty good quality prints. If you're looking to buy one of these, I'll leave a link below. And if you already own one of these, I'd love to know about your experience with this printer, so leave me a comment below. Hope this video was useful. If it was, please hit that like button below the video and subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews, unboxing, unboxings and how-to videos. And if you're already subscribed, please click on that bell icon to be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.